Well, one Indianapolis neighborhood is getting ready to mark a major milestone. Tonight, the Butler Tarkington neighborhood will go one year without a homicide. News 8's Jenny Dreisler has been following this story. She's live for us from Tarkington Park. This is near 40th and Illinois. Jenny, good evening. Well, Brooke, according to the Indy 10 Point Coalition, they say that this is actually the third year since 2015 that the Butler Tarkington neighborhood has gone a year without any homicides. And people living here say they just hope that trend keeps going. Ready, set, go. Whee! For mothers like Courtney Hamill, just a few years ago, a day playing outside in the Butler Tarkington neighborhood with her toddler wouldn't even be an option. Definitely didn't feel safe walking around. My children. It's coming down real slow. And for grandparents like Craig Becker, enjoying the simpler things in life with his grandson Jackson, a no go. I can remember when I was a kid, or you know, maybe when my kids were kids, <laughs> you wouldn't walk through here. Things are different now for the simple fact that crime's on a downward trend. Reverend Charles Harrison with Indy 10 Point Coalition says the spark to turn the neighborhood around really started after 19 year old Malik Perry was shot and killed on October 13th, 2015. During a two month time, Time frame that year, the Butler Tarkington neighborhood saw four homicides and was plagued by gun violence, drugs, and four separate gangs fighting over the area. People were really panicking at that time because of the violence that this neighborhood had experienced. Along with the work of Ten Point and IMPD, Reverend Harrison credits the positive change to the new Tarkington Park, businesses popping up, and people living in the area taking pride in their neighborhood for cleaning up the streets. We see so much of the bad on the news every Every day, and we don't celebrate uh, the accomplishments, the good that is occurring, that there are neighborhoods, communities that have made positive steps toward reducing the violence, and we ought to celebrate that. And they are, as people living here hope the trend continues and more good days are on the horizon for Butler Tarkington. It's awesome to see a neighborhood be loved on well. I'm hoping it's going to get even better, certainly. With him down here, I'll be able to wander around, have him hold my hand and go anywhere I want. Reverend Harrison says because the crime level has actually dropped so much here, the Indy 10 Point Coalition is actually going to be cutting back on patrols here. He says that was the goal all along. Live in Butler, Tarkington, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8.